Good morning, Woodchucks. It's another beautiful day here in Pine Grove. Yeah, I think it's called Pine Grove. I keep forgetting about that, what it's called, but Pine Grove. So very important now to come out and check the beehives every day and make uh, see if they got any honey. Uh, I'm kind of mad, sad, and uh, that I've been eating the honey all this time to boost up my, uh, my health. Not my health, but my food level just a little bit. So, yeah, I wasted a... F I don't want to say wasted them. I mean, who knew? Uh, anyways, two days ago, the greenhouse was ready, so I picked up all the pumpkins. I have uh, replanted some... Mostly all the new seeds. Do I have any any honey? I know I got three more to check, but, uh, yeah, we'll come in here and just check on the ones I did plant. I'll shut the door, so... Oh, I think I just picked up... Yeah, well, I'll plant a cucumber there. Uh, that's what was there anyways. Uh, so I just lost a couple days in that one. Guys, can you fix that uh, with the door? So yeah, I planted uh, cucumber, cucumber, uh, melons, yep, melons, and paprika, I believe. Paprika. So hopefully we can make some... Yeah, I don't want to remove. Come on, where's that? Nope, there we go. Just the door only, please. Thank you. And close the door. Uh, humidity's fine. Yeah, so try to make some tier two cooking. So, one, I could eat food when I need to, or go ahead and sell it. This is like the second straight day of no honey. It's almost like the game knows now I need really I need honey, and now I can't get any. Before we go anywhere, though, we are actually going to be making some things because I have been going around. Um, I've done about three or four days of social jobs. I think actually four since the last episode. Not the episode of the update, but the episode of uh, just a series that we're doing here. So, yeah, I've been going around. If I go into my inventory other, you can kind of see I got a lot of... I got, like, at least a dozen of most of the herbs, I guess. There's some I haven't been able to find yet. Not that I'm out there looking for. But the best way to find it, really... And I hate saying this, is uh, is going out and, and finding missing sheep. Because the sheep are going to be where the food is out there in the woods. So... You take that, one, you'll get the new seeds that are now in the game by doing those quests, and plus you can find a lot of these herbs as you go along. Another thing I should point out, as you're carrying sheep, you can still pick up mushrooms, strawberries, the herbs, what have you, as you're carrying a sheep. So you can still do that. But anyway, anyways, let's go in here to the kitchen. Uh, yeah, if you're wondering where to get the cookbooks, check out my update uh, episode. And I, it'll show you right where I found the four cookbooks. And from what I posted on the Discord channel, um, most of them, uh, most people said that they found the four books in the same location as I showed in the video. So uh, these are the recipes. I don't know who's going to really want to use the recipes over here unless you really got tons and tons and tons of honey. Uh, but the ones I'm kind of curious about is, of course, we got mushrooms. Uh, I do have pumpkins. You can buy milk and eggs at a reduced price out the store. Um, but right now I'm growing some vegetables, so hopefully in three weeks time I'll have the vegetables and so maybe I can cook some of this stuff. But in the meantime, I do have enough of the food that we gotten from earlier quests, hopefully to keep me satisfied. Uh, no, I'm not done here. Um, uh, unique recipes, I cannot do that until I pay off the uncle and get to chapter three, so I'm a long ways from that. But herbal potions, that's where we are right here. So, the, I want to make two of these today, the fox potion, work smart, not hard. This will make us use the chainsaw a lot quicker. So I want to make just two of those. And... There we go. Does it... Because uh, one thing I am kind of curious, is it considered food? I guess it is. Uh, it does give you 40 nutrition. So it'll give me uh, f towards food. And like I said, it's going to make me work faster. I think that's the correct one I want to make. Uh, but the other ones I want to come in here, um, this one here. So the good thing is the shampoo and lotion use different herbs. So I'm going to go ahead and make a living of those because these we can sell. I, I don't know if we can use them or not. It'd be interesting if we can. But there is a shampoo. No, I didn't want to make just one. I want to make a whole bunch. Uh, that was me uh, misclicking. Um, where's my little button here? There we go. There we go. Let's make seven more of those. All right. Uh, nope, not that button. Uh, not that button. This button. Um, 
become strongest man alive what this potion does here if i remember but like i said check out the update video i think this potion will allow you to pick up logs whether your sleep and food are below 60 and i think you can run with the logs as you're carrying them uh no more hunger nor sleep this will give you full full uh food and full sleep so and i don't think it counts down either at uh throughout the day or evening whatever and this one up here is a night potion so you can go ahead and try those out if you like but the only one i'm uh want to make is a fox is it called the fox potion darn it i keep forgetting what it's called i think it's the fox potion yeah that should make us chainsaw a lot quicker if you know what i'm talking about you'll see here in just a moment so yeah, our task today, I know there's still some, some social jobs out there, but uh, I'm not too interested about doing that. I got two forests up here that I want to, well, take care of, and we're going to go ahead and do that. So right now, my money is at 18 and a half-ish thousand euros, and I think my social points are like at 44,000, somewhere in there. So right now, really, I'm just bringing the tractor up just because um, I didn't want to run up here. So I think I'm going to actually park it right across from the store. And just leave it here. Yeah, so my main goal for today is these two forests that we own over here. I hope to have every tree cut. I'm not going to cut and transport, cut and transport. We're going to go ahead and uh, just cut there. them all down. Welcome to my store. Well, hello there. Um, sound like a pirate. So what do you have in your store? Uh, we don't care what he has in his store. So what do I want to what I find out? Can I sell these? And if I do... Uh, oh, it tells me at the bottom. They're 80 euros. So yes, you can sell the elixirs. I don't know what you want to call them, but uh, I would call them elix elixirs, I guess. Uh, yeah, so those are 80, but what I'm really here for are these. Now, can I use them for anything, really? No, I can't. So it doesn't it, do it doesn't say, like, um, it gains me... I figured maybe it make me smell cleaner for maybe when we go try to... I don't know, uh, attract women or something? I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so the fox post, you can see in their food, it says nutrition plus 40. Or if I show, I don't think anything in here is going to give me any sleep. Uh, but you understand what I'm saying. So right here, uh, herbal skins, we got we got tons of these. Let's go ahead and just sell all those. That's $1,400. Uh, yes, please. I will take that for sure. And the shampoo, uh, that is the same. And we got 11 of those, so I'm going to get 2,200 euros just by selling the shampoo. So doing the sheep quest is pretty darn good. Uh, I'm trying to figure out um, some of the places I picked up, the herbs and all that. I'm trying to figure out how fast it takes for the herbs to grow back. And I think it's like three days or so, something like that. Anyways, now that we're over here... So, can I see... No, let me get my chainsaw. How, how much we got here? I got 30 trees left on this piece of land here. Wait, I'm only on this... Uh, yeah, there's two lands here. So I got 30 trees left on this one, 22 left on this one. Let's all count together. That is 52 trees that I need to cut down. Well, I'm just going to show you, in case you didn't see the update video, what this fox potion actually does. So we'll cut down with this one tree right here. And you can kind of see how long it takes me to follow along with this slide bar as we slowly go on over. And we'll just let the tree fall down. And the same thing with trimming up the limbs and then cutting it on up. So now we'll have 51 trees to cut on down. But you're going to see a difference here for sure when I take that fox potion, the elixir, and we're going to zip through these trees. I don't want to say in extreme hurry, but it's going to make here look like what I'm doing right now, like a, a snail cutting up a tree. Can a snail cut up a tree? Probably not, but you know, you understand what I'm trying to say. So it's going to be quite a mess in here when I start cutting down all these trees. They're going to crisscross everywhere probably. Because I'm not going to be too concerned about where they fall down. And when I come up here with the tractor and the logging trailer, it is going to be kind of like a mess. Alright, so you saw how long it took me to cut down that tree. Well, let's come in here to food. And we are going to drink one of these. And now you can see in the upper right-hand corner, you can see that uh, I drank the elixir. And it's the status bar on the right-hand side of it, I guess, is how long I have. But now you can see how fast I'm going to cut down the tree. And we are now through. 
Um, just like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and just cut down a few trees here because it's going to take a while for these trees to fall and I don't want to waste any time. But these uh, potions seem to last a while. So it's not like you got to have a big rush in it. And really for what it costs to make these things, I think uh, with all the herbs I have and the honey I have, I can probably make like seven of these things. I thought this was one of the trees I cut down, but maybe not. Yeah, this is going to take me no time at all, at all to deforest <laughs> down, down through here for sure. So it's the same thing when I cut up the limbs. I mean, it just zips right through the limbs that you got to cut. All right, so apparently I was near a tree and I thought I was going to delimb that, that tree, but that's fine. Because uh, this is like a clearance sale. Everything must go. And see, the problem is it's going to get really, really messy in here with the way I'm kind of doing it at the moment. But um, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be kind of fun anyways. Oh, uh, yeah. It's going to be a blast. I'm going to zip right through them all. Which is good in a way, but also, since we can't replant trees at the moment, um, by taking these elixirs and, and going through the trees like we are, we're going to deforest our, the, the forest that we have really, really quick. Come on, where are you? Did I get you? I can't tell because I got so many trees cut down now. Oh, I'm apparently I'm going to cut down another one. This is where it's going to get messy. So, I didn't see anywhere in the patch notes. They didn't say how long these last for. So, I probably should have looked at the clock. Let's see, what time is it? Right now, it's 7 o'clock in the morning. Um, we'll see how long it lasts for. If I can do so. But I think I've already cut down a few amount of trees here. <laughs> I think it says 21 left are standing. And I think we st really started with 29 after I drank the elixir. Uh, I'm not delimbed yet. Nope. Oh, apparently I already cut the tree. Okay, I was like, where do I cut it? I've already cut it, apparently. It happened so quick, I did it twice. And since we don't have the, pon uh, the Ponzi Scorpion just yet, this might be even faster than that. Maybe. I, I probably not, but... Well, I didn't want to cut it, but uh, since it did, I can see myself making a lot of these until I can afford that uh, Scorpion King. Just buy a forest one day and just clear cut it and then spend another day picking up the logs. Now, the other potion that um, makes you str the strongest man alive, I think is what it's called, that would be really good for when you're starting off the early quest. Just because... Um, you got to carry logs, uh, and a good amount of logs, on some of those quests. And being able to run with them, too, that would really, really cut down the time it takes to do those quests. So definitely the first day on the farm, or the, uh, at the mill, you probably want to start putting down your beehives. I'm glad I did. I was doing it just for a little bit boosting uh, food, but... I knew it was going to get messy in here. Messy, messy. It's hard to tell what tree is what. Yeah, cut them on down. You're going to fall through the ground. Luckily, I can cut them fast enough so when they do bounce, I can probably... Get it before it glitches. Oh man, it's going to get messy in here. Messy, messy. 
I mean, it already is, and I'm just about one third of the way through what I gotta do. Our mill is gonna be running wild when I start bringing all these logs down. So I can see the elixir, the bar is starting to go, I can really start to notice it a little bit. So it should last a couple in-game hours, I would assume. Oh, this is a disaster in here. I'm surprised uh, the game is coping rather well with the way all the logs are. Uh, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Since the elixir doesn't seem like it's going to last an extreme amount of time, let me go ahead and do as much as I can here. And I'll bring it back when we're just about out of the elixir. Oh, this is a mess. Well, the elixir is just about out. So it didn't last as long as I thought it would originally because it didn't seem like it was going down at all. And now, for the last couple minutes, it seemed like it was going down rather quick. Which is fine because, man, I made a mess in here. <laughs> I made an absolute mess. And now all the branches being gone. I would recommend uh, probably only cutting down like three or four trees at a time. And maybe go spaces in between. Just because the limbs make it so much so you can't see what the heck you're doing. And then go around and cut up the trees afterwards. So yeah, I think I only got about nine trees down and the rest of the time was trying to cut them up and uh, find out where the heck I was. Um, where is it? Uh, 19 trees. So I think we cut down, what, uh, 11? Something like that. And there are logs everywhere. So since the elixir is worn off, I think what we will do is we'll come over here and start picking up some of this mess. Because, man, it is messy. I think we'll just pick up one trailer and bring it on down. Because I do want to try something. One thing I didn't mention in the update is I think they said they fixed uh, the bush trimmer jobs to where it will show all the circles now um, so I would like to I think I may have one of those jobs today I'm not sure if I do or don't and someone did mention in one of my comments about the the trees that after you put them in the trailer they float away it's because I was not waiting long enough for the claws on the, the logging trailer to open and really, I, I was paying attention to that. And after about the first couple, the second you drop it, the claws on, on the logging trail as you watch, they just automatically open all the way. They're not slow to slow to open, per se. Um, let's see here. I got logs everywhere. It's just a matter of trying not to get caught in them as I drive around. Well, here's one trailer load. I'll, I'm pretty sure I got maybe like Three more left up there to grab, and I'll grab those later on at some point. When I start doing some social jobs in between episodes that I tried to do. Clean up the mess I have up there. My plan is to check the jobs that we have for today, and I think I did see a bush trimming job up in the northern part of the map. And the reason I want to go up there and do it, because I want to see if the circle is all the way around on that job. Uh, the one job I have not gotten in days is a repair job, so I don't know if I've done all the ones that are available currently in the game, and I caught up with those because repair jobs, it's basically been transport and find missing cheap. Um, I, I mean, repair jobs are my favorite of the ones because those are the, I don't want to say simplest, but you get money and social points. Uh, the bush trimming ones, uh, yeah, I still don't like them, but I do it for the money and social points. Uh, might be easier now if if uh, that ring of fire, as I call it, is there. And I can see the area I actually have to do. So, yeah, I was, um, I did check the time. So, it was just a little over an hour that, uh, that the elixir lasted for. So, I don't know if it's done on time or if it's done on how many times you do a cut with a chainsaw. 
But then I got to think about the other ones. I'm like, well, then how would that work? So it's got to be done on time, I would think. But then again, uh, sometimes the way I think is not the way it is. So, yeah, that's probably not the case. So it's got to be done. I would assume it's got to be done in time. That'd be just my personal guess. Uh, but I didn't see nothing in the patch notes where it said it was done by time or how it was done. And it didn't say, like I said, if it was done, if it is done by time, it doesn't say how long it lasts for. All right, so what I want to check is, well, okay, bush trimming job right there. Uh, transport. Find the missing sheep. And transport. So yeah, these pop up once in a while. Uh, these are pl what they call placeholders. They're not... These are quests that are not in the game, but they're popping up because technically I am at a stage where I can actually do them. So the game is saying, here's a quest, but since they're not really written into the game yet, uh, that's where they are. That's what, that's why you see those. Um, so anyways, I want to meet you over here at this bush trimming job and we will see what that one uh, does and see if I get the complete green circle around the area I got to take care of. Well, just hello, Sophia. Not now. Sorry. Yeah, I know. I just want to get your attention so I can, uh, you hello. can start having a conversation. Oh, hello. So you can tell me. Need me to help you with something? That you want your grass and the bushes all gone. Uh, 481, sure. which is no problem. not too bad. So I'm expecting around 2,000 pieces of grass. Oh, so uh, 1743. Uh, let me get out the weed strimmer. And I am seeing a green circle, I think, all the way around here. Now, this definitely helps out quite a bit, so I don't have to go looking. So what I usually do is, when I know where the boundary is, I will go around the boundary and just do it a couple times, and then I won't have to keep on looking. Then I kind of do it in sections. That's just the way I approach it. But obviously, do it the way you feel feel fit. And this is what kind of gets me. You're mowing someone's yard, apparently. Next thing you know, you're over at the store mowing that yard. Not too bad. So, I'm going to go ahead and take care of this job, and I think I'll meet you back at the mill, because what I want to do is, we got some roofing panels, and I think we're going to put the roof on either the garage or the chipboard factory. And because I want to keep track to see how the mill is doing on the logs that we brought on down. Just about done with this job and it still takes too darn long. But <laughs> it does make it a lot easier when you know where the boundary is. Oh wait, you're you're the wrong one. You know, he the arrow on the screen usually helps you out, Peanut. I know. I'm so used to seeing the orange arrow on the screen. <laughs> I kind of forget about it's actually pointing to where I want to go. I'm actually going to leave my platform truck here because I'm probably going to come back later on and get this transport job and do the other jobs. But let's uh, go ahead and teleport back to, well, I guess our little putt-putt. And let's come over here. I'm sure all those logs have been processed. The one thing I got to keep track of is the bark and the wood chips just to make sure I don't overfill and I don't think I will. Um, actually, there's still some logs going through. Not a whole bunch, like three logs still left to go from the first trailer load that I brought down today. I think it's going to be a long day for me here on the mill, but uh, that's fine. Also, the bark, I better keep track of that, because I don't know what happens when it reaches capacity. Does the mill actually shut down, or do you lose uh, the bark that was there? Uh, but what I want to do is, actually, we're going to come over here. I probably should put the platform down first. That usually does help. Um, where can I put the platform? Apparently here. Perfect. And now we're going to grab some of the metal roofing and we're going to go ahead and at least start fixing up the roofs over here because I do not like the style of roof that is on these buildings at all. Uh, the one for the house, I did I pick those up or not? Uh, the ones for the house, I would like to, um, I don't know if I want metal roofing or not. I'll have to figure that out when I go back to the store and have a quick look to see what is actually there. I'm going to finish up this episode by hammering down some of these and just getting rid of this uh, I don't know what kind of roof style this actually is but uh, it needs to go not my style and plus I need to make sure 
all of our boards stay nice and dry. Good thing about the roofing is it doesn't seem like it takes that many panels compared to like the wood. The wood planks and everything. But next time we get another set of dry planks, which is in like five days or so, we will do the whole thing of uh, using up some of the crates until we get down to like two or four left. And uh, yeah, I know I said I didn't want to fix these up, but yeah, they, I know it's an exploit a little bit, but um, I'm going to go ahead and, and use them on up while we can and get our money for the crates while we can, because man, to pay off. Pay off our uncle does to get to chapter 3 to find out what the unique recipes are. Kind of sucks, but, you know, I understand it as well. That's the only benefit, I think, right now of paying off the uncle is you get to move on to chapter 3. And you can find out what the unique recipes are. Now, the one thing I don't know, and I don't know if I should try it or not, and maybe I will... I was wondering if I bring back if I bring back the the crate of panels I have here, am I gonna get full price on return? Or not? But my platform truck is back way on the other side. But I got enough of the roof done, so maybe we'll we'll save that for next episode to bring those panels back. Uh, but at least most of that roof is pretty much taken care of. Yeah, I definitely need another another crate of those. And like I said, uh, these are, should be at like, what, 55-ish? 53? Perfect. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and fix up this building here. And of course, the garage as well we got left to do. Um, I'll take down the scaffolding because I might need, I, well, might need. Uh, I will need to get in there because I already got seven crates waiting to be shipped on out. That's a trailer load. Not a trailer load, but a platform truck load. So that should be like uh, $1,200, somewhere in there. So all the logs are brought down, have been processed. Yep, everything has been processed, which is good. All right, so what are we down? I was down to like 101 crates waiting. And what are we down to now? Oh, we're not way down to. We're up to 131. And I got many more to go pick on up. So, yeah, I want to run back. So the elixirs, I don't think it's worth selling the elixirs. Although, um, you're going to grab a bunch of herbs. You may not want to make the other elixirs. But it's the honey that that kind of gets you so you may want you know depending on how you want to do it um make what you want to make and go up there and sell the elixirs sell for 80 and the shampoo and the lotion sells for 200 so i mean right now i can make how many more fox potions can i make i can make seven more of those and they are different than the night leaf ones um and i don't know how many jars of honey i got left 15 so i want to keep my jars <clears throat> excuse me i want to keep my jars of honey yeah see i don't want to make the um the mountain potion because that takes the same that takes night leaf and so does the uh the shampoo and the shampoo i can sell for 200 per i'm just going to assume all these elixirs sell for 80 and the shampoo and skin lotion sell for 200 that we know of so yeah i don't want to make any of the mountain ones because i'll take the night leaves away from the shampoo and the same could be said for the lotion takes, uh, however you pronounce that, takes the same as the owl potion. So, yeah, I don't want to do that. So the fox potion also takes those as well. Yeah, so I don't want to use, yeah, I want to be limited on the fox potions. I want to make much of the shampoo and the lotion I can because those, those are 200 piece. I think we made like $3,400 from that today selling those potions. So, come on, bees. I need some more honey. And so, oh, yeah, by the way, I also noticed that the. I missed this bench here. And also, after you repair it and you save the game and you reload, um, some of the things change like they've been changed color. Like the well, it's kind of like a white color. Um, this thing turned red. The picnic tables and tables turned like a dark brown. The sandbox turned like a maroon color. Uh, even the dock out here, if you want to call it that, is like a dark brown or a tannish color as well. Which is good. Um, it does add different color, but cannot wait until we can do the housing. I, I mean, I cannot wait until there's a lot of things added, especially the animals. I can get my own eggs and milk, and then that way I can start making a lot of good meals. But we did a lot of good work here today on the mill. 
Um, yeah, I'm up to 22,000. Uh, as for paying off the uncle, I think the way I'm going to do it now, because I think once I have all the money, I need to pay him off. I'm not going to pay him off a little time, a little at a time, a little at a time. I might as well just wait until I have the 250,000 and I don't need it for anything else. And I'll just pay off the uncle and then I can move on to chapter three. Um, that's the way I think my plan is. But, uh, as you know, my plans change as we go along, but that is going to do it for today, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always, and I'll catch you next time right here on Lumberjack's Dynasty. But until then, have a good one.